Hello fellow movie watchers, tis I the rumpled one, movies I've watched. The Last Word, Winona Ryder and Wes Bentley. Guess you call it a romantic comedy of sorts. Entertaining, fun, worth watching. Kind of interesting in a way. Kind of like the storyline. It's about this guy who's a writer. And uh, he meets this woman under some uh, interesting circumstances, let's say. And then it just goes, kind of shows their interaction. Also have, uh, what's his name, Ray Romano. That guy, it's pretty funny because his voice, his inflection is just perfect for the roles that he usually plays. The Witch. <laughs> Okay, evil takes many forms. Um, it's not scary. I mean, they, they try to make you think it's scary. But you got to remember, we have a history of burning witches at the stake. I mean, there's people still believe in this stuff. A lot of them do. So, uh, but you know, people have their beliefs. They're entitled to them. I, I don't really, it's, it's not really a turkey, but you know, don't go out of your way to watch it. But if you do, you may enjoy it. And finally, incendiary. The truth can blow you apart has Michelle Williams in it, Evan McGregor. It's a uh, movie that once again has something to do with terrorism over in London. Kind of an interesting portrayal and the character interactions. Um, let's see, uh, parental guidance suggested um, there, there is some uh, nudity and sex in the movie. That's why you should watch it. No, just kidding. Anyway, um, it's a good film. So, yeah, I've only watched those three movies since the last video I made, but i got to take them back. They're due, so uh, that's why I'm making this video. And once again, thanks for your comments. Thanks for watching. If I, if I don't watch a movie you suggested, it's because the library didn't have it, not because uh, I don't value your uh, suggestions. And uh, as always, don't run out of popcorn.